Here we're being asked to determine if two vectors are orthogonal to one another, and if they're not orthogonal, then we want to find the angle between them. Now, what's different with this example than with the last example is that these two are three-dimensional vectors. So these are, are hard to visualize because they're in three-dimensional space, and we're, we're trying to figure out if they meet at a right angle in space. So I can't really rely too, too heavily on graphing them and, and thinking of it in that way. Um, we're going to have to kind of you, you rely a little bit more on algebra here. So I know if they're I know they're going to be orthogonal if I can take their dot product and get zero. So let's do that first. So if we take u dot v, then we'll have um, the ith component multiplied together, the jth components multiplied together, and the kth components multiplied together, and then added all together. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Remember, you don't write the i. This is just this is going to be a scalar when we're done. Um, 0 times 1 is 0. And negative 9 times 1 is negative 9. Add those all together, you get negative 15. And unfortunately, this is not 0, which simply means that u and v don't meet at a right angle. It's some other angle other than 90 degrees. Now we can actually still figure out what that angle is using this dot product. There's a formula that we should be familiar with. It's u dot v. This is an alternate definition for the dot product. It is the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle that, that is between them. If it's not 90, then we should be able to figure out what it is. So we have the dot product, that's negative 15. Then we need the magnitude of u the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle between them. Uh, the magnitude of u is the square root of 85, if my math's right. The magnitude of v is the square root of 11. And I am skipping a little bit of algebra there. And then divide those two radical terms away from the cosine and then take the arc cosine of both sides. So I am skipping a little bit of algebra here, but the theta would be arc cosine of negative 15 divided by root 85 times root 11. And we'll calculator punch that and see what we get. Okay, uh, I'm gonna forego the algebra and the calculator work. You're welcome to type that in. Uh, make sure your calculator's in degree mode just so your answer will be something between 0 and 180. And I got 119.4 degrees. So hopefully you got the same thing, which means these two uh, vectors here are pretty spread apart. They're way more than 90 degrees. Um, they're 119.4 degrees apart from each other.